Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Resterbrooks with another lesson on cascading style sheets. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to use um, uh, divisions along with the ID and class attributes. So that's today's lesson. Divisions, ID, and class attributes. The first thing we're going to have to do is modify the um, our original HTML uh, index file. And I'm going to separate, just put some spacing in here so you can kind of see where I'm going. Let's say uh, we want to have a uh, sort of a banner at the top of our page, a, a separate section from the rest of the page, which will be, what, you know, we'll call that the content, okay? So the banner is kind of like a, you know, the large, it comes from like a masthead and, and magazines. Um, um, and we want to style those differently. Uh, because these are all part of the body, uh, I'd have to style each individual element. But let's say I have, let's say I have a paragraph in here, uh, my latest hobby. And I want to style this HTML differently from this HTML. Well, how do I separate the two paragraph uh, from, because they're all in the body. Well, the way we do that, first of all, is start with the division or the div tag. So div slash div. Now I've wrapped that section in a div tag. And I will wrap this section also in a div tag. Um, so now I've got the two sections divided with these div tags, which stands for division as far as I know. Um, but uh, they're both divisions. So if I style the div tag, they'll stay the same. So I'm going to use the ID attribute to distinguish whoops, the two, uh, the two divisions. So we're going to call this, we're going to identify, that's what the ID tag stands for. We're going to identify this first div as our banner. And then we're going to identify the second div as our content. And um, you can use whatever I've seen, you know, masthead in here. That's an old magazine term. Um, I'm going to stick with banner because that's how I've set up my CSS uh, sheet. Um, so that's the, that's the first part. Um, this will let us style a paragraph in the body here and a paragraph in the body here differently. Okay. So back to our, um, our CSS. This is where we uh, where we left it last time. So the page looks kind of like this. I think that's refreshed. Okay. Oh yeah. I just refreshed it and there's my latest hobby. Great. But let's say I want all this content here, the level one heading, the image and the caption say my latest hobby. I'd like that all to be styled together. So that's where uh, the divs will help us. Uh, now I've prepared this earlier so I could just cut and paste it. So here's the CSS we're going to add to do that. I'll put it down here at the bottom. And um, I'll put in a comment here. Uh, styling using uh, divs. I'll just put div. Uh, ID. Oh, let's be more specific. The div tag with... ID and class attributes. Okay, so now I've got my comment in there. So notice the syntax here, first of all. Div hashtag banner. The hash, first of all, the div is because it's a div. Um, that's the, whoops, wrong, wrong page here. Right back to the HTML. That's the HTML div tag, right? Then here we have the ID attribute. So let's go back and forth. Here's, here's the HTML that we're styling. Div ID equals banner. Here's the CSS code to style that div. Hashtag means it's the ID and banner is the, the specific ID. So I've got some div hashtag banner styling. And then I've got some div hashtag content styling. Now what this will let us do is... Rather than putting, uh, you know, this now H1, I don't necessarily need that up there. Um, I can put, uh, for example, div 
hash banner h1 and put that down in there and that should style my uh, the text in the banner as well but I don't need the text align anymore because I've got that text align right there in the div slash banner so let's see if I broke anything first of all so you need notice what happens is first of all all of that content ham radio text uh, the heading one uh, the image and then that paragraph I put in are now centered because I've styled the div like this right all through here um, also I've got a div hash banner P that's gonna apply CSS to just the paragraph within that uh, div ID banner okay so this will style the H1 element within the div ID banner and uh, I've just kept it the same color um, and then uh, now down here under my content I want my font size to be slightly smaller so my banner paragraph here and I can throw a P in there too right um, or I could take the P out of this this will I take the P out of this it'll style pretty much all the elements but that's probably going to change my H1 a little bit too so the, the heading scaled up a little bit that's okay uh, this is is simpler it's clearer and when you're when you're styling um, just like any code simpler is better so um, we'll take out that P there just to keep it simpler and um, I've noticed I've got font weight bold I've, I've made that text bold in there because just looks a little bit wimpy when it's not bold it uh, grabs your attention when it's bold so it stands out etc but for the content I don't want my text bold and I want it a little bit smaller so you'll notice down here this is my content division and the text is not bold it's also smaller this is paragraph text here as part of the uh, the banner div and this is a paragraph text here as part of the content div all right so far so good that's a seven minute video I do have one last thing I want to show you though um, but I'll save that for another video so thanks for watching and uh, check in soon for the next video